looking for cheap, fast, and reliable Madden Ultimate Coins, look no further than my sponsor, Mutt Reserve. Head over to MuttReserve.com. Use code Poodle at checkout for 30% off your order. Take advantage, guys. Do not waste your money on packs. Skip the packs. Head on over. Pick up some coins. Enjoy. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, I'm going to be going over the best players in each position in Madden 21, guys. Now, guys, I'm super excited to go over this list. It's been a while since we made our last one on this. And there's been a few players that have come out recently that have completely just taken over, right, as the best players. So, definitely want to go through that, guys. But before we do get into today's video, make sure you're down below. Hit that subscribe button. Turn the noti bell on, as always. Always come join the family. And, of course, guys, like the video and comment down below. Let me know who your favorite player in Madden 21 right now is, guys. Like and commenting helps out the channel tremendously. So, make sure you guys are always doing that, especially you guys are loyal supporters always help out the channel now guys let's get into this let's start at quarterback now remember a few rules of our list we don't do kicker we don't do punter and we don't do offensive line but yeah let's get into it. it's a quarterback who is the best quarterback in the game right now stats wise right stats stats wise it is technically philip rivers in terms of all the abilities he can get but he gets no speed so if you're focusing on just strictly abilities and throwing stats it's gonna be philip rivers right but he gets no it's gonna be power up or stuff if you're talking just pure mobile quarterback gonna go vic now that was then, right? So then we got Justin Herbert that they come out. So now Justin Herbert puts up a run for its money for everyone. Now in terms of abilities, he may not be all there in terms of the Philip Rivers, but my personally, I think Justin Herbert may be my, my personal favorite quarterback in the game. You know, meta wise, I'm not entirely sure, but my favorite quarterback, guys, Justin Herbert. He's going to be the best speed and throwing combo in the game. Philip Rivers, you know, gets similar, you know, slightly better throwing accuracy, but because of thresholds, Philip Rivers gets like plus, you know, 30, 20, whatever his speed. I think like, you know, 16 actually. But in my opinion, Herbert's the best quarterback in the game. These are Phillip Rivers and, you know, Phillip Rivers and uh, the other one. They they had it for a little bit, but I think Herbert may have taken it. He just can't be powered up though. So I'm hoping they do give him a power up. But for the meantime, Herbert's amazing. He gets the speed, 99 throw power, all the stats you want. And he's a strong arm quarterback. Uh, but yeah, moving on from there, going over to halfback. Now, halfback is a position that I've been waiting quite a while for us to get that next meta upgrade in. And we haven't gotten it. I really don't know why we haven't gotten it yet. It's been kind of weird. Now, uh, currently, right, in terms of best running back, so recently our newest ones were Arian Foster. We got work done, Bo Jackson. Now, personally for me, I think Arian Foster may be the best running back in the game. And it's simple. Why? He's one less speed than Bo Jackson, but he has acceleration, agility, catching, change of direction over on everyone, work done. And that's the difference, right? So give you guys an example, right? Derrick Henry could have a 96 speed. And have an 84 change of direction, 84 agility, and he feels way worse than Aaron Foster with more speed. That change of direction and agility is what makes Aaron Foster that turns speed into like crazy plays, right? Because when you have when you have 96 speed, that literally means like okay, if you happen to be running in a straight line, that speed is useful. But side to side, you know, moving, going across things, doing all that, like trying to you know run an outside zone, cut it back up, you won't notice speed at all with them. They lose too much speed as they change changing direction. So, Aaron Foster is a perfect mix of everything, and he can also catch. He's six foot one, has some strength, 85 strength. He's like the perfect all-around back, and I also person like Aaron Foster. Next, I want, by the way, fullback, we don't do either. Uh, again, those are positions where it's super simple. Kicker, kick power, and a kick accuracy. Punter, kick power, kick accuracy. Offensive line, do you run or pass more? It's very simple. Moving on. Wide receiver. Now, wide receiver recently got some pretty big upgrades. Tyree Kill comes in as my number one overall wide receiver right now, number one overall. He gets 99 speed, powered up and chemed up a sprinter. He gets it. He gets 99 speed. He'll get 99 route running, depending on whichever chem you go. Play fake, he'll get 99 short and medium. Deep, he'll get uh, 99 deep. Guys, he's the best wide receiver in the game. 99 speed wide receiver. He's shorter, which typically helps with run mechanics. Overall, this guy's an overall beast. You just, you can't, you can't negate or go against Tyree Kill. Now, guys, I want to give some honorable mentions out. During this week, as this video, I'm posting this video and making it in advance. I'm leaving somewhere. So, uh, quick little honorable mention. Best quarterback in the game may be Aaron Rodgers or Tom Brady, right? Now, I just want to go over that real quick. Aaron Rodgers MVP NFL Honors card will be coming out. So, definitely stay tuned for that. He may take the best quarterback spot. But as of this video, it was Herbert. But again, if it ends up being Aaron Rodgers, he probably ends up being there too as well. But moving on to wide receiver, like I said. Okay, so we, had, we have Tyree Kill. Next wide receiver on the list that we currently have had, like, we had Steve Smith, right? Sadly, 97 overall, Steve Smith only got a 95 speed, which means you only get a 96, which is good. He's a great receiver, but again, there's so many good guys. But like I said, far and away, number one overall is going to be Tyreek Hill, and I would probably do I would probably do Moss, and then I would probably do uh, 
Moss is 56 with four with all that speed. I'll probably do Steve Smith as the number three because he still has a 96 speed powered up and chemmed up and he gets all that after the catch ability like the stiff arm and the juking and the spinning. So he's really good again, super expensive. But those are my three guys for now. I wish Ty, I wish Steve Smith got a 96 base. If he did, he would have been insane. Absolutely insane. Tight end. In terms of tight end guys, we have Finley, we have Waller, and a few other guys. Now recently we got the Vernon Davis. Now let's compare the two. So we have we had Darren Waller who was the best one. And Finley. 92 speed. And then we have Finley, who is LTD will have plus one speed on this. 92 speed. Now, what do these all have in common? Vernon Davis. 93 speed plus a power up. 94 speed. Now he's significantly better, and his run blocking is plus 10. He's the only tight end that has that speed and the run block. So he's going to be the best run blocking tight end that you could actually use on a game basis with 94 speed. Vernon Davis, far and away, best tight end in the game. I mean, he's kind of expensive at 700K, but again, far and away, best tight end. Coming over to left end, we have Joey Bosa, Strahan, and Reggie White. Now, I think it comes down to Strahan or Reggie White, so let's just compare them real quick. So Reggie White has 82 speed, maxed out power move, play right block shit right at the end of the day. 98 strength and he can be powered up and now michael strahan on the other hand is going to be actually faster with similar stats in this case i would take michael strahan because michael strahan gets has like a plus a big speed increase on him as well as similar block shot and power move and uh less strength of course but again like i said speed's important especially at this part of the game best right in the game he's not out yet guys but he's already been confirmed aaron donald defensive player of the year aaron donald's going to be the best right end of the game hands down don't even don't even look at other ones chase young currently my okay so right now at this point in this juncture chase young is the best one with the 90 speed 95 excel 94 blocks 96 uh, finesse move but as soon as aaron donald comes out he'll be a 99 level player with chems and everything he's gonna be insane you guys already know aaron donald's gonna take over right that's just how this stuff usually works now next on the list guys we have defensive tackle defensive tackle there's a few guys in contention here i actually really do like the new william perry i think he's really good uh, you're getting pretty good speed, 80, 80 speed, 88 excel for a 335-pound man to get that speed. Like, the holes he can clog, being that big, combined with 99 strength powered up, it's great. And he gets a 94 power move and block shed. So he can block shed, he can run stuff, uh, you know, he, he can pass rush, he has strength, he can clog holes, and even better, he has enough speed to where if he did get a pass rush, it actually may be useful, because he would actually probably get to the quarterback with that speed. You know, not, not an insane rate, but enough. Left outside linebacker. The thing with left outside linebacker again this year has just been if you pass rush or if you do that. But TJ Watt and Khalil Mack are far and away the choice. Now, uh, TJ Watt's going to have the 90 and 93 in terms of athleticism with 94 blocks and finesse. But very similar to the Chase Young card. Now, if you compare it to Khalil Mack, Khalil Mack's only going to have a 87 90. So he's actually going to be worse than TJ Watt in terms of athleticism, which probably gives TJ Watt the hands over him. So I would go TJ Watt in terms of who's the best left outside linebacker. Middle linebacker. Interestingly enough, we don't use middle linebackers this year, but we do have some good ones. Now, I personally wouldn't take any of these guys, actually. I would kick it down to 94, 95 range, and I would go get myself a Devon Wright. Now, I'm saying the name weird on purpose. Don't kill me. Devin White. I would take him. 95 playoff master. Or hero, sorry. 94 speed. Again, I know people don't like middle linebackers, but a guy like Devin White, if you can use him with a 94 speed, yeah, he may not make crazy interceptions. He may not do any of that because he's a middle linebacker, but the speed alone will he will catch up to routes he will keep up wide receivers he will shoot the gap he can do a few things that that speed will pretty much allow him to do with the blocks and play wreck the tackle and hit power now again i don't like the fact that he doesn't get a power up because if he did his car will be in even more insane but he does not which is sad but that's just uh, the reality of this now moving on right outside linebacker which is next on this list now again right outside linebacker we have we have a favorite pre pretty much yearly it's lawrence taylor Lawrence Taylor, far and away, power him up and cap him up. He will have 93 speed with 96 excel. And he think about that. The 50's been over for a while now, and Lawrence Taylor still far and away looks like one of the best, if not the best, pass rusher in the game. And he's been out for like a while now. But anyways, six foot three. He's gonna get everything you want. He can pass rush, he can run stuff, he has speed and excel. And you know Lawrence Taylor just plays glitchy. It's just it's just an, one of the one of the Ten Commandments of Madden is Lawrence Taylor will rush your quarterback. It's that simple. Cornerback. In terms of cornerback, as we go on down here, guys. Deion Sanders still have to have him. that speed. He finally gets the press above 90 with the uh, chemmed up with lockdown. You have 99 man, 99 zone, 90 press, and 99 play rec, and 97 speed, excel, and agility. 
you can't beat that. And then he also has that 85 catching. He also has crazy change of direction and everything else. Deion Sanders is still far and away the best cornerback in the game. But of course, there are a few other guys that have slowly made their way up there in terms of can you use them. I think Asante Samuel is definitely really good. I personally would use Asante Samuel with Deion. As well, powered up and chemed up, Asante Samuel will have 99 man, 99 zone, like a 97 press, and again, 96 speed, uh, you know, so on, you know, so on and so forth. And of course, the speed, the Excel, agility, everything else is super good. And Samuel just plays well. And again, the next cornerback comes down to your discretion. Free safety in Madden 21 at this moment in time, guys. We have a few of them as well. Justin Reed's really, really good. He can't debate Justin Reed. He's really, really good. The new one we got recently now. Powered up and came to pull up 96 speed, 99 zone, but only 98 man coverage. But I believe he also gets a good press as well. He's 77 catching, 89 change of direction. Let's see. He had 78 press, decent press, 88 hit power. He's super good, guys. He's six foot one. He's gonna be probably the best free safety in the game. Now, of course, you could kick it down to Sean Taylor, but if we're talking pure speed, you're probably going Justin Reed. I rhymed accidentally. Strong safety. It was Jamal Adams. It was Jamal Adams, but I think the new Derwin James may have just taken a spot. Because the thing with Jamal Adams is he only had a 95 speed powered up and chemed up with 99 zone, 99 man, 98 hit power. And I believe he's uh is he six foot one? If I'm not mistaken, six foot one. He's six foot one, two thirteen, right? So remember, 95 speed, and you'll get 99 zone. But Derwin James is six foot two, one extra inch, but he gets plus one speed, it's more excel. He will have 99 man zone as well. He'll have one less hit power. He's, I think he's going to be better, and he's. I think he's overall better catcher. Now, again, if you're more of a run-stuffing guy, maybe you go with Jamal. I think Jamal actually plays better as a run-stuffer than uh, Derwin James is, but Derwin James is the best strong safety in the game. Now, guys, that pretty much does wrap it up for today's video. And of course, we have Adrian Wilson as well, but I don't think he's better than Derwin James by any by any reason. He's just up there because he's a master set. That's about it for the video. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy. If you are new to the channel, subscribe. Turn on the noti bell, guys. And of course, comment down below who's your favorite player in Madden overall. Like, who's your favorite player you've been playing with? And of course, like the video, guys. Doing both those things help out the channel, so keep it up. That's about it. Make sure to, if you guys need coins, head over to Mart Reserve down below and use code Poodle for a discount at checkout. That's what. Enjoy the rest of your day. I'm out. Peace.